Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, Seagate hard drive, which I purchased. Uh, it's a one terabyte unit, uh, rather slim, kind of attractive, nice uh, uh, aluminum finish. And this is one of the reasons I bought it, is to match my um, uh, MacBook Pro. So anyways, because it's got a similar... Um, aluminum type finish USB 3 drive and, and one of the things that I did when I got this is is I wanted to help maintain this this thing it gets thrown in my um, uh, you know my briefcase and it gets bounced around with a whole bunch of other electronic cables and things like that so one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, actually protect this cover um, so what I decided to do is in uh, OpenSCAD I designed a cover for this and actually sort of a customizable cover type situation um, so then I decided to obviously print it out and, and what I decided is I was going to do this in TPU and so what I did is um, I printed this so uh, before we get further I tell you what let's go take a look at this printing and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the problems of this printing and we'll talk some more about this because this has been a rather interesting and, and challenging project more so than I thought so let's cut to a quick time lapse Okay, welcome back. So, one of the things you probably noticed in the time lapse was this um, odd imperfection here. In general, it turned out okay, but uh, you probably can't see inside there. It really blobbed a lot of material. Now, uh, so I decided, uh, hey, this came out pretty good. It's a little bit, little bit snug of a fit too. It will, will go in here, but when it hits this part down here because it's blobbed out, it didn't work so I just thought what the heck I'll go back and print it out well long story short this is sort of the results I've gotten ever since then so one of the things I want to talk about um, is I printed this in in, in in vase spiral mode basically or contour mode or whatever in, in Cura um, and I think this is part of the problem now I printed this at 250 degrees C and I think I think the more I think about it and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because what I want to do is I'm gonna jump over and I think it's one of these let's take another quick look at the time-lapse of of this fail. I think it was it's one of these two failing oh no I'm sorry it's this one failing because what I decided to do on this one, well, let's go over, let's watch the time lapse of this fail, and then I'll talk about this. Okay, so what I did on this one, 
This was 1.5 millimeter millimeter uh, thickness. So I decided, okay, maybe what's happening here is it's simply a little bit too thick because, you know, it is a little bit overly rigid and that kind of stuff. So what I did is I dropped this down to one millimeter and it came out really stringy. And uh, as you saw in the video, it failed. It just kind of pushed out the extruder. Now, one of the things uh, I, I went through, and I, we won't watch the, the videos uh, on it, but uh, I didn't want to talk about it. So I did go back up to 1.5 millimeters of wall thickness. And I'm not sure if it's coming out in the video, but I think as you can see, the quality of the 1.5 millimeter versus the one is far better. So there's something definitely in the slicing of this that's not um, too great. But now I keep getting um, where it, 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 you know, as you saw in the last one with this one, it just pushes the filament out the back of the extruder. Now what I've done uh, since is I've, um, I actually used my 0.4 uh, millimeter drills to actually clear out the nozzle. So I haven't tr I haven't tried it since. I haven't had time. So uh, I, I don't know if that kind of fixed the problem because I printed a ton on that printer with TPU. And and uh, what I tried doing is also so I said all right maybe it's the con it's the contour base mode. So I attempted to print one without in, in regular infill mode, and this is what I got. I got a big mess, so uh, did not like that. So, uh, anyways, hey, um, this hasn't come out the. You know, this is one of those projects I thought, hey, this is going to be easy. And I mean, I printed this out, printed out in an hour, but unfortunately, I got this blob. And again, one of the things I'm thinking is on the Da Vinci uh, 250 is a little bit too hot. I think I'm going to start using uh, about four. Um, uh, 240, 245 on the Da Vinci, on the Da Vinci because on the Wanho, which I was using 250 on, uh, you know, I have the the temperature fluctu fluctuates by about five degrees, so I think that was the uh, in, you know, so I think running it hotter on the Wanho um, produced better results, and I think running it cooler on the Da Vinci will produce better results. So when I get a chance, I'm going to go back and give that some uh, a, a try, but. Uh, uh, one of the things that, uh, well, part of it is this thing doesn't seem to work. So this really got me ticked off. I, I, I bought it out of state. It was one of those things I was traveling on business. Uh, you know, it looked kind of cool. And so I have no good way of returning it. So uh, uh, that's why I've kind of laid off on, on printing it. I'm going to probably take it apart, see if I can't find something inside there, but it just seems to keep disconnecting, but that's a whole nother problem. Anyways, I kind of want to share this now. I'm going to have this, this, I'm going to put this up as a um, Thingiverse customizer. I'm also going to put, uh, also if you go over to our sister channel of openscat.diy3dtech.com, you'll see this file out there. So if you want to get this file, and again, it's a customizer, so you can make it to fit whatever size you want. Uh, so you'll probably see this pop up as, as another project somewhere else too. So anyways, hey, kind of wanted to share this working with TPU, working with DaVinci, Customizer, uh, OpenSCAD. Uh, really neat concept. I really like this um, because, you know, again, this, you know, fits on there. You can still see the, uh, you can still see the aluminum through there protects it, you know, gets knocked around, nice little bumper type thing. So perfect use for 3D printing. So again, kind of wanted to share the idea, even though it is a bit of a fail, um, at least on the printing side. And uh, we'll probably revisit in the future sometime. Cheers. See you in the next one. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.